Washington's Clear Thinking Headquarters. The Morning Majority, 5 to 9 on 630 WMAL. 837 on WMAL, Morning Majority. Brian Eamon, Major Gare from the yes, National Journal. Lots of British invasion all morning in honor of the royal wedding. Little Pink Floyd, uh, mm-hmm. Brett Bear joins us now. Host a special report, Fox News Channel, who, despite having little kids, was up right early this morning. Weren't you, Brett, to watch the royal wedding? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Brett, but did you see? Brett, did you see? The, uh, did you just see them though? On, on, I'm sure you watch Fox. Uh, <laughs> did you just see them? The couple on the balcony. I just saw him because uh, I, I saw it right before I, I picked up the phone here, and uh, I did see the spontaneous kiss. Yeah. Did you see the waving though? I did see the waving. All right. Do you? Do you? As I believe, the uh, empire, such as it is, is in grave danger <laughs> when Williams. Wave is more feminine than Kate's. Oh, major, 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 major. major, major. You're thinking it. You just won't say it. Oh, See, he's got the freedom my. over a National Journal to do it now. Uh, so, All I know is that I heard Shepard Smith say, and there was the kiss, and he said, and no tongue. Nice. I paused, which, which, and Martha said, Martha McCallum said, oh, Shepard, and he said, it wouldn't have been appropriate. It just wouldn't have been appropriate. Showing the ever-loving British disdain for the French. Yeah. Oh, that's, oh, goodness. That's great. Uh, You're on fire today, man. He is. He is on fire this morning. Yeah, you get up at 4.45 and yeah. do this for four hours. <laughs> uh, so uh, Donald Trump was in the news this week. If uh, if you didn't yes, know, he Brett. was. He was. But last night, did, did you hear him last night in Las Vegas? I didn't hear, but I just saw a readout. All right, let me let me I'll, some compound adjectives. I, I'll play you a little bit, uh, just a couple of sound bites. This is him talking about OPEC, and he's talking to a bunch of women in a Republican group out in Las Vegas. We have nobody in Washington that sits back and said, "You're not going to raise that." F- Price, you understand me? Talking, that's him talking about OPEC, and then here he's talking about China and, and, and devaluing their currency. Listen, you mother, we're going to tax you 25 percent. I mean, salty language from Donald Trump. Wow. Uh, we were uh, we were just amazed by it, and I don't know if is that a sign that he's not running for president? Because you know what kind of a president you, you know talks like that in, in public? Well, public. Yeah, I mean, dropping uh, dropping f bombs. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe he thinks that. Uh... That's where you need to do it in Las Vegas to get votes. I, I'm not sure, but it's uh, it is such an amazing thing to watch the whole Donald Trump uh, phenomena. And uh, when he got off that helicopter or that and uh, and gave that press conference saying <laughs> that he was so honored that he was the one that forced the president to uh, produce his long form birth certificate, there was an element of truth to it. I mean, it wouldn't have probably happened had Donald Trump not been out on every station talking about it and the polls adjusted and suddenly it was sinking in into independence saying why hasn't the president cleared this issue up and i really do believe uh... that you know he he changed the dynamic now whether he's going to run or not that's a whole different uh, yeah. the, the quote of the year i think to me was when donald trump the first thing he said at that press conference was good morning today i'm very proud of myself very proud of myself <laughs> yes <laughs> But major, don't you think there's a collective exhale in in D.C. Uh, from Democrats and Republicans? Democrats, they don't have to answer the question why is it taking so long for the president to clear this up, and Republicans, every interview, don't have to answer, you know, was the president born in the U.S.? Well, I I have certainly a different point of view. I I don't think this was a great distraction, and I and I don't think the White House felt burdened by this particularly, and I think the White House use this issue and Trump's advocacy of it to sort of egg Trump on because I believe the White House has concluded Trump is a toxic force within Republican Party ranks and a destabilizing factor that makes the Republican move toward the nomination more complicated, elevates Trump's ego, if that was even humanly possible, and increases the chance that he will be a disruptive force within the Republican Party for the remainder of this year, which but, the White House, I think, believes works to its net advantage. Sure, and may well, if that's the case, why do they clear the slate now? I mean, obviously it was having an effect to the point where it was damaging them. In the polls, it certainly was. I mean, if you looked at the, the poll, was 38% of Americans started to have questions whether or not the president was actually born in the U.S. I mean, why not hold on to that card as you get closer down the election road? Well, because I think now is the formative time for Republican party. What is that? What is that? It's not me. That's Trump. <laughs> That's right. I mean, now is the time when Republicans are trying to get name ID and 
<laughs> uh, we got to figure out what that noise is. What yeah. is that? I don't know. It's probably on our line. It's that's because it's the phone line. He's on his phone. Is that, is that, it must be your phone. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to. Uh, we're gonna have to call you back. Oh no, no, there it goes. It's gone. Are you there? Yeah. No, it's back. Well, this is going to be a problem for Chris Plant if he's not going to be able to take <laughs> calls today because of this thing. Well, I'll tell you what, Brett. We'll, we'll let you go. We'll try okay. to figure it out. Thanks, thanks, and we'll talk to you next week. We'll Brett, you. Brett Bear, Fox News. That's got it. I mean, what, what, what is that? Yeah. I mean, have we ever done that before in the ring? Yeah. Hey, we well, don't need to bring it back, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Hang it up. See, <laughs> and see if we can, we can fix it. Let's see if we can fix it. All right. So, Proof positive this is a live radio show. Yes, uh, that's true. You never and know what's going to happen. And gremlins also are real. Uh, you never know what is going to happen on WMAL, do you? Uh, we will check uh, traffic and weather. I mean, you will play more of, this, of, the, of the Trump cuts as well about him speaking last night, what that means for him moving forward.